bring it down. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting Look at that crap, man. Punk ain't need to block. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. Nice Run around there, he's going to break for. What we got, what we got, what we got, Tampa? Oh. Get the mix, bro. Get the mix. Jameis to throw it. Get the mix. Uh-uh, take him out of his feet. Where are you going to follow him? Mm. Y'all might have quiet, fella. What's going on? Y'all concentrate? Yeah. Tanked up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. And the wide out in motion. Now a play fake to Martin. Here's Winston. Rifle this one deep right Look at that though. Look at that though. That pain. What a throw. Play there. 49 yards. And the Bucs are able to make this a close game again. And when the quarterback drops and has a guy that wide right open in the end zone, his eyes have to get just as big as grapefruits. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, this is the easiest throw you're going to get, and you're going to get the benefit of a touchdown on top of it. Make that throw. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20. As his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line. Mm -hmm. Atlanta now coming out on the field. You know when I came in, you like come go with me. Like, and just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Oh, the table. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set. That's what they're doing. Every now and then when we see a really good run, we really tend to focus on what other people yeah. did in order for that run to happen, yeah. what the offensive line did, what the receivers did to help. Sometimes the running back's pretty good, too. And on that play, he picked up a lot of good yardage and made it happen with great effort. Charles, before the broadcast, you and I were talking about a couple well, of... Well, they sure let Matt Ryan, Matt Ryan roll out a back lot. Back in the mix again this year, Jim Caldwell with the Lions and Andy Reid with the Chiefs. And I think nationally there wasn't a lot of belief in Jim Caldwell's head coach here? the Lions. Y'all here? I'm going to quit me up. They made the playoffs last year. Remember, they lost their last three games of the regular season. And then uh, in, and and Matt Ryan rolled out a lot. So people like, ah. They'll revert back to form. No, they're off to a three and one start and play awfully well on defense. Jim Caldwell deserves the lion's share of credit. See, I got you. I'm Good. with you. <laughs> Andy Reid, on the other hand, has a team that's played well for the last few seasons. The only thing they need to do now is have a deep run into the playoffs, but they've won every which way possible in the early going. Undefeated, they're built for the long haul. I'm going to give you one last one Sean Payton with the New Orleans Saints. Mm. 0-2 for the fourth straight year to start the season. They're now back at 2-2 two and two and playing really, really well, especially on the defensive side of the ball. On first and 10, it's Ryan. And this is Gabriel on the catch. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, they're certainly running the ball pretty well on this drive, and all I remember as a secondary guy was if you're making a lot of tackles in a game, that's usually not good for your defense. You've got to figure out how to keep things in front of you because you know there's three levels, defensive line, linebackers, and into the secondary. And if the third level is leading your team in tackles, as a general, you got, man. What you things do? aren't going so well for your defense. 
Go ahead, bro. It'll work for you. You the man, bro. They snap it at one. Now Ryan. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Justin Evans. And nothing there on the return. They've got the football, but they'll have to start this drive at their own four-yard line. As much football as we watch, we've seen this work many times. In the red zone, first down, take a shot at the end zone, and points result. In this case, though, give credit to the defense. They outguessed them, were prepared, and intercepted the pass. <laughs> Very tough spot here for the offense to start. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Following the interception, Winston. And Jameis is going to go down in the end zone, and that is going to be a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Ooh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. Oh, I gave up a play. Trying to do a little play to get me in the flat. You have time to throw the ball. Who oh, didn't block? On the field. And with <laughs> Guess who it was for Tate? Tate the seat? They do him a little fast. Offensively, they want to play this. <laughs> that man goes crazy like a bleed. Man, I'm in the goal line looking at dude that's good. I can't move. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. Ball of one batted in the air and now it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Evans. Oh. He do that. Second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. Final play of the half here, Winston. He's going to look deep down the field. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick and an alley to run. And he will be brought down as time is now run yeah. on this first half of action. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll bring it a few <laughs> past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third you. quarter. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though. I love to watch that game. Get some momentum here at half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script okay. coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first oh, half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, mm -hmm. whatever, they, whatever like, terminology oh. they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. After you do the workout. Yeah, you get that, that, that big, uh, what they call a pump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll pump you up. On I'm crushing it. Winston. Bringing it in. Jackson left side. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the That's 20. amazing. They'll wind up losing three yards okay. here. And that'll make it third and 13. They got Atlanta, man. Like, he did do playing the purple, playing the cloud flat, but they got, okay. I know what he played hard flat right there on the screen. That was his defensive lineman came down there. Sliding out like he didn't cover it. Number 44, Beasy. Maybe not. Let me get you right here though. You don't supposed to be the hole this way. You don't supposed to be the hole this way. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Told you, wait a minute. He dropped it. He couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. All right. 
Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. Baseball. Might have been one man away from six points. As it stands, it's a huge return. And the Falcons are set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. This is Coleman. You got him blocked. And some room to roam now. Ooh. And taking it to the 15. It's crazy how you let them block, man, from Atlanta, man. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. I mean, it's so easy to play for Atlanta, dude. You, you ain't accomplishing nothing, cuz. You're not playing with Atlanta. They're doing everything for you. I hope you don't think you can play man, dog. That means the wide receivers did help. Look at this. I don't see my man gonna run into the man that's already blocking somebody. And they get out in front and put their bodies out there and create more space for their runners to gain the yardage. Ooh. On second down, here's Ryan. Flushed out right. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones. His second Dude. touchdown. You ever see how they let this boy Matt Ryan roll out everything? He can roll out every single thing. Oh, to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little Even bit. Even with that quarterback sneak thing we do, he'll roll out and throw him on the dime, on, on the dime, boy. Perfect. Because they were counting on getting Lose. into the game a little bit more. I don't know if he was losing it. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And on the last goal, look here. Really don't call out that cap. Go on the floor. Okay? Stop calling from the cap. We ain't got much, man. I'll be turning it up. You know what they're What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs. And hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. It's a loss of a yard there. And now sack it down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. Now Jameis on second down. Flush to his right. And some room to maneuver. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. On third down, Winston. Throw left side complete. It's Jackson. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield across the 45. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Let's go now. Watch for the fire. Jameis now on first down. Rolling to his right. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. He'll get three through. yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Final minute now of the third quarter. Second down, Winston. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. Big O.J. Howard is intended to make it. Well, I can't throw against the Lannister. Third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just that didn't look great. That man was open. You crazy. You just need to be quiet. Just, just chuck it away. Man. Dangerous pass incomplete. Uh -huh. The Bucks on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Yep. To throw Winston. Nope. He's got Evans. And he gets this one all the way down in 
inside the 20-yard line. That's exactly right. They ready for him to win. Oh, when they ready for him, they, when, they, when they put that favor on one side, oh. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. First down, here's the run with Martin. That's the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Doug Martin, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs are able to cut in now to that deficit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know who we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. No. Back now in Tampa. It's the Falcons. They've got the football. They've got the lead as we get set to start the fourth. After the game, I have to on the catch there brings up second down Coleman now oh he's got a little daylight and he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46 Jeez, it's a nine yard game I can come around that corner and throw that heat stick and he's going to pass him out of the ground and the defense staying in base not taking a chance not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back that's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through if you do blitz do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or you just come and a big loss here as he's taken down Robert Ayers in there to bury him for a loss of 11 well they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively pressure coming off that right side from the DA. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest paid offensive lineman, to take care of you in this situation. And the pressure gets to him again. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Escaping. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. <laughs> Picked off by Levante David. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. And a great spot to start this drive from here. Bring me the belt. I'm going to show I'm sick. I'm sick of it. I'm really in. It bothers me that I, I got to keep getting bothered about that. Bring me the belt to me. Ain't no sense of you drinking it. Throw it, in, throw it on the floor. But I'm sick of her having to tell you that she talked to me about it. I'm telling you now, I'm sick of it, real sick of it. Every day I got to hear the same crap, but you're not drinking your farm. He's back to throw. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans, 27 yards. And the Bucks are within a two-point conversion of tying us up. So a big play coming now for the Bucks as they'll go for two. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. And with it, we are tied here in the fourth. Set to go now with the kickoff. Who, who These two teams oh, yeah, that wild, again cool. as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This is fielded a couple yards deep. <laughs> And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. they 
He'll start out on the ground with Coleman. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. But he picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They will run again with Coleman. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. I know. I don't even know what the phone is. And he goes in motion here in the backfield. Throwing now is Ryan. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And this will be caught at the 30. A big play on the I got cheated, Dean. I got cheated out of the game just then. Time out, man. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred. Still confident to go I just got cheated. There. The worst I ever get cheated, the man. They're going to pin me behind the other guy. My dude coming to get the ball, and he pinned behind the other guy. Like something retarded. With you and continue to fire the ball. Just took the game from me. Just like that. Hard as I work. Like this, and this is where you find out if you're Hard as I work. Can you game. overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? I don't know. Here's Coleman. And he's brought down. Hard as I work. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another that's, first that's down. That's the same as what they just did. I, I'm going to post this game for everybody to see. So far, Got plum cheated. Dude they coming back down to make a play on the ball and then he came to do it. That, that was pathetic, man. Look at this guy jumping outside. I ain't even doing it. I'm just sitting here waiting, man. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front. I'm saying they, they don't cheat me out, man. I had to I do it to come back down and even pick the ball off. I bat it down. He let him catch in the field go range. So a first down five for the offense. They stay Make a play. Again, it's Coleman. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the eight. Now. And the Buccaneers go ahead and take another timeout. We have to make it. We have to make it. Just one throw. remaining in this fourth quarter of play. What a goal, man. Make him throw the football. And he do, I'm going to have to go use the pick this time. It's just something good. Come on. Let's see if he's going to throw it to Julio, okay? Let the camera watch him see, because he tried to do a screen. I'm going to get this shit ball. Here we go. Here we go. Now Ryan, under a heavy rush, and down it. he goes. Make him fumble or something. Just inside of 10 seconds to go, and they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. Now he's going to throw it to the tight end right here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play that right there. The Falcons on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Got the holding, David. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Last team. We got blocked this year, set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. I got it. Something gonna give me a jump, man. I tried it just right. As soon as he clicked it, I clicked. I got cheated out of game. It's alright, man. It's okay. I got cheated. Everybody's gonna see it because I'm posting the game. I got pure cheated. Don't make no sense how I got cheated on that, man. Every of them got the screen, man. That was just pure cheat. The whole, that, that was just. It was terrible, man. It's the most terrible thing I've ever seen, man. I had him on third and one on my side of the field. And he on a five wide receiver set. I wasn't worried about that. Cause I was gonna make him do a long drive and make him make a mistake. He wasn't gonna get he, he was gonna go to overtime. And what they did, he rolled out. I sent the spy at him and then he just locked just threw it up the sideline. My safety was coming back to the football. Would have been there to make a play. But he was bumping into the uh bumping to the receiver that was in front. He wouldn't let him get back. He was pushing him up the field. And the ball landed right there where he would have been. But I'm talking about he would have picked it off, Jermaine. He would have picked the ball off, man. It would have been like a big play, bro. 
And the dude was just pushing him up the field. He was trying to get back to it. He going, trying to get back. He dude sliding him up the field, man. Just crap. And the ball landed one step out of what, one step where he would have been and the dude still caught it. Just, just crazy, man. But if, like I said, if he would got out that dude where he was trying to, they were just sitting there rubbing up against each other. 26 leaning back while he running. Stupidity, man. Nobody do that in real life, man. That would hurt you right there, man. You dude trying their best to get out of there, man. He still just catch it. Just like, that's stupid, man. That don't even look right, bro. It's, man, look at that, man. That's just cheating, man. That's just horrible to do a person like that, man. I'm, all the dude got to do is get up. He see the ball coming. He playing the ball. This man ain't going to push him up the field. And everybody else, if that's the case, I ought to get stuff all the time. People be turning around on my mean. Look at him. Look at the receiver head. He going to look. Look at this crowd, man. Why the receiver head turn around? Man, that's terrible right there, man. He just throw it up there, man. That should have been a pick, man. Every day, 26 is going to push my man up the field, man. Man, hard as I fought for that game, man. Come on. Come on. That hurt right there, man. You fight like that, man. Then they gonna cheat you like that. Had to battle all the way back because they won't let me get nothing against Atlanta to the fourth quarter. Let's go. Had to sit there and just battle like somebody crazy. How many times you ever seen some? How many times, how many times you ever see somebody flying through the air like this with the football and somebody grabbing from behind, pick him back up the other way, then slam him? They don't go like that. Only thing he can do is jump as my man jump and try to reach up and hit the ball. He can't pull a man back through the air and then suplex him. Stupidity, man. I don't want to get all complex on the game, but that's some bull crap, the way they did me on that last play. I'm going to show the world. Just updated the game and you still got to deal with this kind of stuff. They knew that was wrong. They'll do anything. They could have let me jump that kick. But they know they had messed up. I just sacked the dude. You going to bed, bud? You don't see where you going. You going right in the wall. And, uh... Man, it's it just hard work for nothing. Like, I, I wouldn't mind losing the game if he'd have drove down there the right way. I'm saying... What, what, how did this happen? Well, you got your uh, top safety, number 43. He's supposed to be a Pro Bowl safety. All right, this dude just rolling out with his quarterback. Every time, he just rolling out. Nobody on the defensive line can get away until it's too late, until he's already gone. So you got to play a spy in order to try to contain him. And then when I send the spy, which is way faster than Matt Ryan, he runs further away and just gets off the, the perfect pad ever with that much press on him. And these guys are so stupid. They gotta be. They gotta be within. They gotta be right up on him before they can make a tackle. Instead of instead of him launching his body into that quarterback, jumping up over him like they do in real life, or reaching out and grab his leg or something, he didn't throw it up the sideline. Look at that. That's terrible. That's terrible. He just pushed my guy up the field. My guy trying to make a play, and then this guy just push him up the field. And then he gonna let him big hit him. Try to make me feel good about it. Man, that man in field gonna rain. That's Matt Bryant. Look at that route he run. What he did, he played making the dude up the field. He supposed to do the out route. He played making him up. And it still it still shouldn't have worked. Cause he it, that dude should have been there. Huh? Man, that's terrible right there, man. We'll look at I'm gonna say this game. 